In this video we're going to look at uh, graphs of functions to determine if they have an inverse or not. So we say that a graph um, or a function is invertible um, if it passes both the vertical and horizontal line test. So recall that uh, if a graph passes the vertical line test then that represents a function with that graph. But if we also do the horizontal line test that tells us that the function has an inverse uh, if it does pass that test. If it does not pass horizontal line test, then that function does not have an inverse. So recall that the graph of an inverse, we just uh, reflect across the line y equals x, uh, or we can take uh, some key points from our, our graph or our function we flip the x and y values around and then graph those new points for our inverse. So notice how our original function, the blue one, if we take a vertical line, uh, maybe our pencil, and we bring that across the entire graph, we see that at no point does our vertical line touch the blue graph more than once. Similarly, when we have our inverse graphed, we know for sure this is an inverse because it also passes the vertical line test. Well, there's a way to test if uh, a function has an inverse without having to actually graph it. So recall that um, these points, the x and y values, are just flipped around. Uh, you can think about it like domain and range. The domain and range are swapped uh, between our function and our inverse. So that's how we're able to use the horizontal line test to check if we have an inverse. So let's just double check uh, that all of these are indeed functions. So we have our vertical line. At no point does the vertical line touch any of these graphs at more than one point at the same time. So that tells us all of these are functions. Okay, but now if we take horizontal line and that passes as well where we don't touch our graph more than once at any point then we do in fact have an inverse. So this has an inverse here. This parabola we notice that we uh, our horizontal line touches the graph at two points pretty much the entire graph. So that tells us that even though we could just take this y equals x line and reflect across um, or take key points of this graph, switch the x and y around and actually graph it out, that doesn't mean that it is an inverse of this function. So because this um, does not pass the horizontal line test, there is no inverse um, for this parabola. Similarly with this one, um, we're touching at two or three points, pretty much the entire graph. So this does not have an inverse, and this graph does have an inverse.